Yo, 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 it's your boy. Today, we're playing some Hearthstone. We're playing some Battlegrounds, baby. We're playing with my boy, Lord Jaraxxus. Just as a friendly reminder, guys, whenever y'all see the tier list of what heroes uh, the deck tracker thinks are good, sometimes don't listen to it because uh, I did pretty good this game. I was playing Lord Jaraxxus. has a one-cost hero power. Every turn, you can pay one mana to have a demon eat something out of the shop, which is pretty good. Uh, basically, turn one, I was auto just playing demons, which is like, it's nice to have a direction early game. Could really mess you up, but uh, you know, sometimes it doesn't. The buddy, the buddy's definitely not the best. Buddy has a death rattle that every time it dies, you get a random demon, which, uh, you know, it's it's an okay thing early game, I guess, or maybe mid game. You know, if you're able to trigger the battle cry a bunch, but uh, you know, aside from that, it's not really it's not really a great card. So over here, we're going into turn five. We have a pretty decent, respectable looking board. Here, I'm just playing the guys so that we can hopefully get some uh, yeah, get some more cards, get some better cards. Here I take the Fellbound, I double sell so I can get him. Uh, I'm just trying to boost up the shop really, that's kind of the main thing. Next turn I'll have a relatively bigger board. Here I take the L, but I get a second one. And actually I get another two really good demons here. I don't remember if I pick them, but we'll, we'll see in a second. Implicator is really good. Implicator at the end of the turn, he'll just eat something out of the shop. Which is nice, we'll have a lot of attack pretty soon. And then here, here I pick up the Soul Rewinder, so this makes it so that every time my hero takes damage during uh, the shop phase, I get to uh, reverse the damage. And that means that I pick, I can pick up like cards that just, you know, self-damage without hurting me. Pretty cool. Here I get the Staff, here I get a second Implicator. Now, notice there is no quill bores in the lobby. I think one of my mistakes, uh, you'll call it a mistake, I guess, right? Was uh, I play a little bit too much into the Picky Eater. Um, Picky Eater is cool if you can, like, get a uh, young Murkai on it. If you get a young Murkai on it, like, you're going off, right? But, um, you know, if, you're, if you don't have a way to keep triggering battle cries, then, like, it's not as good as just getting another Implicator. But as an early game demon, it's not awful, I guess. I mean, the shop's already been buffed. Here I get a Malkazar. Really great, because I already have the free... Uh, I already have... Uh... Oh, no, I don't. I sold it! Oh, no! I sold my guy. I needed that guy, the uh, Soul Reminder. I guess I just sold it because I'm a ditz. But I do have the Malkazar now, which means I can get free spins. All I gotta do is spend one, uh, one health, which is pretty cool. Uh, here I'm kind of debating on what to do. Get my first triple of the game. Here I forget, of course, that uh, <laughs> the Fellbound is an elemental as well, which is pretty cool. Here I sell the elemental. We get a Bran. Of course, you know, I'm just too slow. Um, it's really weird going and you know watching everyone on youtube and they can just you know lay cards like a few seconds after their turn ends but like for me it just as soon as it hits like two my turn ends right there um so that kind of sucks here we get the muck guy i think i should have probably bought that other minion right there i don't know here we pick up another pick up the health guy so we get another four health on all the minions in the shop. Not bad. Another implicator. You're gonna notice that a lot. I, I do end up with a decent amount of implicators. I do really like the card, it is pretty good. Here we get up against a uh, cool board guy. This guy, whew, I mean, he has some rear guns, which are cool, I guess, but I mean, he's just not doing enough. I don't know if his, uh, Blood gems weren't doing enough for what it was, but I mean, yeah. Here I put another picky eater. 
Here I eat twice. Here I take the Leroy so I can have a little bit of scam, you know, just in case. Just in case. And to be honest, I think at this point, I should be looking to try and get out of my buddy. My buddy's okay, but it's not, you know, the best thing ever. I should just get something else. Buddy, and I think the Fellbound. That little 5-5 five, five taunt. Implicator, actually, I don't think it's a bad card either. Um, I don't remember if I pick one up. This, this game happened a few days ago. I think maybe before the patch. I don't remember. I mean, it's been a few days, but... I don't think the patch would have mattered. The only major things is that there were some armor changes, but here I hope I pick up the little 2013 right there. Yeah. I think this guy honestly is the best two drop in the game because you can actually like, you can kind of build around it, right? I mean, every time it, uh, whenever it dies, you get a death rattle that it uh, gives health to one of your other minions on the board. As a golden, it gives health to multiple minions. And of course, here, uh, you get to see my Texas internet just completely go off on me. It's just... It just dies. Apparently, I won the match. I won that one, but, uh, you know, it just kind of froze. Sorry about that, you know. But, uh, you know what happens? I'm just glad. It's, it's... My internet's definitely better than last week. Last week, I was having... Uh, I was having disconnects like mid-game, I was just straight up losing games, this is very sad. Here I pick up the Shell Elemental, which is pretty cool. Was that third Implicator? Here I'm just trying to sell the, uh, the Buddy so I can get the gold. Another Implicator is pretty cool. Honestly, at this point, we probably could have gotten rid of the 5-5, but uh, I thought I still wanted more stats. Would y'all have sold it at this point? I think I would have maybe potentially wanted to sell it at this point so I can maybe buff something else up. I'm sure there's another better demon or like a Shell Elemental or something I could have pulled. Here, luckily, we do get a ghost, so we get a free level up. Pretty nice. And here, we're finally into the top two. Honestly, could have picked up that, uh, that demon lady. I think that one would have been pretty cool. Let's me, uh, battle cry, pick a minion, pick a demon, and then I take damage equal to its tier. Which would have been nice. Would have been nice to get something else. But uh, here I give another buff to the uh, two-drop demon. Here we're actually playing against cool boards. This build is a little bit weird. Uh, this build actually is not something I've played before, but uh, it relies kind of on you getting the death rattle, the th three little cool boards, and that just kind of buffs up your stuff during combat, which. Uh, you know, right now you're looking at the stats where I have an 89% or 88% loss rate. Um, it's very sad. Also, the fact that he had like five secrets on him or something. <laughs> he had some silly amount of secrets. Uh, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Here I pick up Arid Atrocity and I sell, I finally sell the the, uh, the foe bound guy. Pretty cool. Here I get a triple. We got double implicator, double golden implicator. And you're going to see in a second, it's very sad. You're going to see in a second, it just doesn't do enough. But I pick up the Arid Atrocity because it has a Death Rattle. And it gives me a little bit of a way to stop some of the scam. Makes it so that hopefully I don't die here. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of sad. Here he brings back the Cool Boar again every time... The Tough Tusk gets a Blood Gem plate on it. It gains Divine Shield again. So we're just hitting into Divine Shields and Divine Shields and Divine Shields. Very sad. And here, we actually, I think the Arid Atrocity did, did make a difference. We had a 40% uh, chance of not dying, but uh, 
Hey, it is what it is, baby. We played for second. Not the worst game ever. 